are here today with Kevin and his mother. Kevin uh, was in our office last month and was the first recipient of stem cells here at our Zephyr Hills office. Now, Kevin has an illustrious medical background that stems back to a, a host of congenital problems he presented with as a newborn. Uh, his mother has been championing, championing uh, his efforts and his cause for an entire lifetime. How many years old are you now? 43. How old? I'll be 43. 43. So for 43 years, this mom has been putting in um, eight hour shifts a day, fighting for her son. You live in Nova Scotia or? New Brunswick. New Brunswick. So um, she's been searching high and low for a long time now for something that may help Kevin because virtually nothing else has. It was she who thought that stem cells might very well be an answer to this dilemma. And when we first met a month ago, it certainly seemed like highly likely that stem cells could because one of Kevin's many medical problems is respiratory. And his lungs have a terrible amount of pathologies which limit and restrict him every day. So with that being said, and knowing that stem cells more than likely given intravenously should be helpful. We took this on as a first time effort one month ago. Now, today is the first day I got to see Kevin after that. And now Kevin, I'm gonna turn my attention to you and just ask you a couple of questions, very similar to what I had done when we were in the inner office. Okay. But uh, Kevin, you got these stem cells uh, on the 27th yes. of last month then in an amazing way, and I'll let you tell the story, the next day, which I purposely, purposely don't think I can even explain how it happened, but you have an interesting story to share. The very next day, you jumped on a bicycle and rode, rode what kind of a distance? Uh, it was around our park, and it's a big park, and I couldn't, before this was done, I couldn't do, do it at all because I was being a breastfeed. Quarter of, the, quarter of the part. Quarter of the way around, you had to stop, huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> Kevin, the day after you got these stem cells, did you tell me you made it all the way around that park? I made it all the way around the park without, without getting out of breath. Huh. That's pretty amazing stuff, Kevin. It's um, very touching to me to hear it. Uh, I actually can't explain why something worked that quick. But although I'm not going to doubt or question you in any way, uh, I just hope that people who might be listening to this and putting themselves in a similar situation could feel as uh, motivated as evidently you are yourself. Now, a month has elapsed. Mm -hmm. And tell us how the month has gone. Um, I, got, I gathered from our meeting in here that, uh, well, I'll let you say it. I mean, are you pretty much, your lung issues resolved now? Because I haven't heard any limitation that you feel that you have placed on yourself now? Well, the only thing I really notice is my lung, about my breathing and all that. I'm not, I'm not using my puffers almost like, wow. like every day as much as I sh should be. Well, let's talk about those puffers. You know, the inhalers that uh, people frequently take, having an acute episode and then they reach for the puffer to get a, get a rescue. So how many times a day did you normally have to Ask for that kind of a rescue before. I had two puffers, one purple and one blue. The purple one was one or twice a day. Twice a day <laughs> one in the morning, one at night. And the blue one is just like for if I get it right away. As quick. you need it. Okay. Yeah. As you need, yeah. So now it's a month later. Tell me how you use those puffers now. Not hard to use them at all. You don't need to use them at all? No. How about the ones you take normally every day, twice a day? Do you use them at all anymore now? Very touch them. And the ones for the rescue, that'd be very interesting. So you had this other one, I believe you called it the pink one? The blue one. blue one. The blue one. And whenever you get to be feeling a little tight in the chest, you'd, you'd pull yeah. upon that. And I'm guessing that this happened multiple times during the day? Yes. Okay. So yesterday, for instance, how many times did you use the blue puffer? If I didn't take my, my purple one, I'd be using it like two or three times a day. And is that what you used it yesterday, two or three times? No. 
Oh, you didn't use it? No. Did, did you use it at all? No. Okay, I think we got the answer to the question. All right. So, for you, as for anybody else listening, we are one month in mm -hmm. to what I believe to be a process that just now is beginning. The cells that we gave you a month ago landed. And they landed in the lung. And we know they landed in the lung because we administered them IV. When they landed, they declared that they were going to be brand spanking new lung tissue. Now, although I may not be able to explain how in 24 hours these cells take on their responsibility and handle the job pretty doggone well, the divisions that these cells are now going to undergo is the next beautiful part of this possibility. Because every three to six weeks, these cells are going to divide. We started out with 10 million at a minimum. Um, three to six weeks later, and we're not even, we're probably right in that mid range right yeah. now. They've doubled to 20. In three to six weeks, they're going to go to 40. And I'm guessing that three or four months from now, I certainly want to see you again so that we can find out what has evolved. I'm all ears when you're around and I'll be all ears then. And uh, is there anything else you want to say to anybody who happens to be watching this testimonial today about, and might be considering, might be thinking about doing stem cells for their lo own lung problems. Anything you want to say? If you have any, if you have any uh, issues for your breathing, I recommend it. recommend it that come, come to Florida and get this done. It will help you. Thank you very much, Kevin. Thank you very much, ma'am. That is all.